just getting the installation together for Baker Hall here at the Botanical Garden. So my paintings are going to be here for the summer. And you can see down the way that Connie is displaying, is uh, installing uh, the 20 pieces for estivation. And here's Fishin. And we have Bee Goddess. I'll walk around the edge here. So you can see her. There's Bee Goddess. And across the way from Bee Goddess is Rockus. And then down from Rockus, we have, this is my home, this is where I live, and there's going to be the four smaller pieces on each side, straddling that from the Estivation series. And then we have Recent, that's the deer piece. And then we pan over through Baker Hall, and we get to Blind, and that's, the pieces don't look quite so large when they're in this huge space but they do look good. And now here's Connie installing a grid of the pieces that are going to make up the Estivation series. So I think it's gonna look really tasty when it's all complete. And uh, there we have it, 30 paintings in this monstrous space that suddenly don't look so large anymore, but they do look good. And so I'm really excited that they're here and um, getting some really nice reactions from people so far. So we'll call this a two-minute creative tune-up and how beautiful it is to have our work move out into the world where literally thousands of people will be walking by and seeing it. And I had a little boy dancing on the paintings when they were on the floor this morning, which is perfectly fine with me. Have fun and enjoy being uh, creative. And there's my little artist statement that you can read on the website. Donna Iona Droz to here, Ren House Studio today over at the uh, Botanical Garden in Norfolk, Virginia, installing Noble in Nature paintings that are going to be up for the whole summer here. And I guess I'll leave you with um, one of my favorite favorite pieces forever. And uh, this is uh, this is my home. This is where I live, and she was done when I didn't have a home, and I was just imagining what it would be like and to live on water in nature, and now I do.